So let's think about this. You have the audacity to dare to be a leader. Like, really? That is exactly what I was thinking when I started reading the book by Brene Brown, Dare to Lead. Because as you read that book, one thing becomes very, very clear is that Brene Brown is very good at exposing you to a different way to look at leadership. Now, there are a lot of people who look at leadership from the perspective of, you know what, yes, I'm the one in charge, I get to call the shots, or hey, if the team wins, I get the credit, if the team loses, then, you know, I kinda get the credit. But one of the things that Brene Brown brings up in this book that I think is very, very, very critical that I've heard several CEOs tell me is, you know what, Stepping up into a position of leadership isn't necessarily about, you know, the privilege or the prestige. Stepping up into a position of leadership is about stepping into responsibility. So when you think about it, you should probably switch it the other way around because as a leader, you're going to have to serve your people, which means you're going to have to actually step outside of yourself and you're gonna have to pull on skills, you're gonna have to pull on whether that is physical, emotional, mental, social, I guess business, all of these different types of skills you're gonna have to pull on and the truth is, some of it you won't necessarily have when you start. Some of it you're gonna have to actually develop. And one of the things that the book Dare to Lead talks about is that skill of being vulnerable and wrestling with the tough reality of conversations that you have to have with the people that you lead. Now, one of the things that she talked about in the book is she gave an example of her own, I guess you say, situation where, you know what, she would make these targets and she would run the team hard and she would say, hey, you know, we need to hit this goal and we need to hit this target. And her team had to actually have a very real and very vulnerable conversation with her when they said, you know what, Brene, the truth is, we could hit this target, but the team is exhausted because you do this on a regular basis where you are not good at predicting or estimating how much time and energy is required to do X, Y, Z, and you make this target and it's a little unrealistic and the team just works all night and day to do it, but they're exhausted and they can't keep that cycle up. Now, when you hear this as a leader, the first thing you probably think is you're just complaining and you're just making excuses. You need to work harder. It's my job to make these tough targets so you'll stretch yourself. But she actually really had to take a step back and really work through that tough conversation with her leadership team to really understand and accept. You know what? The truth is she may not actually be good at setting targets and part of that was It was her own insecurity that she had. And because of her own insecurity, she was setting unrealistic targets on the team and the team was hitting some of them or sometimes the team was just exhausted because they couldn't hit it and they probably shouldn't because it was unrealistic. Now, when you think about your leadership, I think you definitely should pick up a book like this because what it will do is it will cause you to start thinking about the things that you probably overlook and those things within yourself where you will have to be a little more honest and a little bit more open with the people that you lead and you're going to introduce yourself to some tough conversations and you have to have the emotional skills to be able to have that tough conversation with your team and to confront those tough situations so that you can come out as a better leader and your team can come out as a better team. So I definitely recommend that you pick up the book, Dare to Lead by Brene Brown. Thanks for tuning in to the Business Talk Library. If you like what you heard and you want to hear more, be sure to click the subscribe button and follow us on all social media platforms as the Business Talk Library.